it's okay, Sarah, don't worry. Like, I mean, you're, you're pregnant during a pandemic, child. <laughs> that did not happen by accident. I did this, I made this happen. So don't worry about, about, about anything because what's for you is for you. So Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to our channel. It's a beautiful day outside and hubby and the kids are outside doing a little bit of gardening. I'm supposed to be joining them, but I actually have my first prenatal doctor's appointment coming up. Um, if you guys are new here or if you miss my pregnancy announcements video, um, we are pregnant. And so I have my first prenatal appointment. It's kind of strange because there's a pandemic it's definitely different being pregnant during a pandemic for sure because there's so many things that are ch have changed um i will be doing a specific video on being pregnant during a pandemic on my channel but today i'm Today, I guess I just want to share a little bit about my doctor's appointment and just how strange it actually is. Before that though, our package just came from Amazon and in there came a pregnancy test. And before you jump to the conclusions and wonder, you're like, girl, why are you going to test again? Why are you buying pregnancy tests? You already know you're pregnant. <laughs> well, these ones are the digital pregnancy test. I ordered two of them. Last time I ordered it when I did it on my channel. I'm just making sure that the other test is actually it. Um, last time when I ordered it on my channel, I thought I ordered two digitals, but the package did say two very clearly, but they're so clever. It was actually one digital uh, along with just a regular clear blue pregnancy test. Anyways, the reason why I am testing today is because the last time when I did a digital, it did tell me, that was like a week ago. It told me that I was two plus weeks. To, it said that it told me that I was two to three weeks pregnant. I guess I wasn't fully two, I wasn't fully three, so it didn't say exactly three. And it's been an entire week. And because I haven't been able to go to the doctors yet and I haven't been able to do blood work and all that stuff yet, I had already ordered the test. At this point, when I ordered it, I wasn't I didn't get in contact with my doctor and the fertility clinic, they wouldn't even take me because they're in blood clinic or whatever um, is down they're not doing any blood work so I thought to myself even though I was doing a progression test at home to kind of see how my tests were progressing I figured taking another digital another week later would let me know and give me a good heads up that the pregnancy is progressing and you know because it would say three plus weeks at this point so that's what this is about I'm gonna go ahead and do that that way when I do communicate with my doctor I can tell her and explain to her what's going on. And what is this? Oh, sorry. Oh, wait. Is it ticking? So um, I have to wait three minutes for that to tick away, and then it will let me know. The last time I did it, it's the one that says pr it says pregnant first on the one side, and then underneath it, it tells me. Um, on, on, yeah, underneath it tells me how many weeks pregnant and that's what I need to know. Okay guys, can you see it? Oh geez. So as you can see, it says pregnant. This is so nerve wracked because I really wanted and needed to say three plus weeks because that would be a good sign. Um, according to when I took it, I thought I was just say two weeks pregnant and so when you do the when the way doctors calculate it they add an extra two weeks onto it so i thought i was just two weeks meaning i would technically just be four but when i tested it told me that i was two to three weeks meaning that i was at, in fact really four to five weeks so that was a week ago or exactly six days ago i was gonna wait until tomorrow to test it because then it would be exactly a week but it was already it does i don't think it should matter because i was already like a day ahead yeah it really shouldn't matter I don't think and I really just want to get this information so it is saying two to three weeks again I'm gonna to have to double check the day and see if it says if I'm a day off or what we'll see yeah I don't know what to think now I'm also not testing with FMU I gotta double check and read the instructions to see if it told me to test with first morning urine because if that's the case 
it's not helpful it probably isn't helpful because my urine is really diluted right now it's really really clear because it's midday so I have one other test and I'm gonna check I guess I'll use this to check for myself tomorrow so do I book that appointment with you now okay and then for the blood work do i have to call back for that or is that okay i lived closer to it in the past um like a few years back and so i i kind of just stuck with what i knew and then i passed by this one and i'm like why have i been going so far it's like nice it's right there <laughs> yeah so guys, I just had my meeting with my doctor over the phone. That was my first doctor's appointment. That's how it went. Um, my, doc my doctor's office, they are not um, seeing people in the physical unless like you absolutely have to because they're just trying to do their best to cut down on just any, you know, having to deal with anything that's not necessary. Anyways, my doctor herself, she just had a baby. Well, not just now because she's just returning to work. So she was on mat leave. And so I can understand for her too. She just, like no one wants to get sick and possibly put their family at risk. So I can appreciate what the office is doing. I'm so glad she was still able to contact me. And honestly, that was like one of the best conversations ever. She's so easy to talk to and she's very caring. She's a mom, <laughs> she gets it. And that's what I really, really appreciate. So moving forward, what I gained from that appointment is that um, I do have blood work coming up, but she'll have me do that in about two to three weeks. And then I'll have my first appointment to see her in, in about three to four weeks. And then we kind of progress from there. So we talked about my blood work, my blood pressure, all those things are like so good at the, like they're, they're absolutely fantastic right now. Talked about me working out because last night I was working out and I started feeling super crampy. And then I got like nervous. I'm like, should I be doing this? It was good to talk to her just to get peace of mind for some of those things. And yeah, it was just, um, yeah, it was just really, it was just really, really good. I guess we'll talk about that further on. She was asking me about, like, if I'd have, like, a water birth and all this stuff. And I'm just like, um, and, and I know she doesn't have, like, my full chart and everything in front of her uh, fully. And she didn't realize that I've had four, four C-sections in the past, though. So I'm not sure a wa at-home water birth would be safe for someone like me. But, yeah, overall, that was good. Overall, that meeting went really well. So right before my doctor called, I chopped up some cabbage with some carrots. Um, I'm thinking of putting in some red peppers, but I really don't know because, I don't know, sometimes they can give me indigestion. I think I'm going to pass on the peppers. So I wouldn't add, I added the rest of the cabbage that I had in there just to create a bigger meal. If I have leftovers, that would be so good. So I'm probably going to wrap up this vlog here, but I wanted to say, guys, when I checked on that clear blue pregnancy test upstairs, um, I was kind of shocked. I expected it to say three plus weeks because this time last week, it already told me I was two to three weeks and I made sure I waited at le least a full six days where it should technically be three plus but upon um upon checking it out online lots of people said they ran into issues some people said they checked it once and they got three plus weeks and then they checked it again and it was two to three weeks so those tests are finicky in terms of like proper date estimator so i guess i'm not i don't have anything to worry about there but i will wait to check i'm going to probably wait till like five weeks and two days i don't think i'm going to check exactly tomorrow at five weeks because from what i've heard a lot of people say they do not get the their three plus weeks on the five week mark they're usually five plus weeks some people said they didn't get it until they were five weeks and six days that is crazy and then some said they got it at five weeks and two days and stuff like that. So now that I know that they're finicky, I'm just like, <laughs> it's like a sigh of relief because I was thinking, oh no, like I hope nothing happened. But honestly, on these journey, on this journey, it's just one of those things. It's like a faith thing. Like I just feel, I don't feel every now and again when I overthink and I'm looking at the wrong things and I'm trusting, I'm putting my trust in Google. That's when I feel, feel, um, 
stressed but when i just progressing and going on as usual because of that like not i feel like god's put this faith in me that it's okay sarah don't worry like I mean, you're, you're pregnant during a pandemic, child. That did not happen by accident. I did this. I made this happen. So don't worry about, about, about anything because what's for you is for you. So I'm just learning to settle, relax, enjoy this pregnancy, smile, take it one day at a time, and just thankful for life, thankful for for family for food for all that we have and thank you thankful for this little blessing that's growing in my tummy <laughs> sounds so weird to say but i'm gonna end this vlog here guys babes what happened I don't know. uh oh I can't.